So for instance, a competing style works great if someone's late all the time. Are you following me on this? It's called non-compliance. I'm not gonna negotiate this. If you're late, you're late, and if you're late for the third time, I may in fact fire you. I'm not gonna negotiate that. So that's a competitive conflict style, which means I, sorry, I win. You lose, I win. I'm the boss, you're not, you're late, you're fired. Or you're terminated, which seems much harsher. Avoiding is if two, one person comes in and says, she stole my cell, he stole my cell. I would say, okay, did you talk to them about it? No, go talk to them about it. You're an adult, fix it. I've got to do inventory and you're now talking to me about the fact someone stole, I don't even know if they stole your cell. Go fix it. That's called avoiding. I'm not going to get involved in that. It's not important to me. It's important to you, fine, go do it. And if there's an issue, I'll come back to it, which means I may have to come to some of these other scenarios. Compromise means I'm going to give you a little, and you're going to give me a little, and we both kind of lose, but we both kind of win. For instance, hey boss, um, I'm having issues with daycare, and I can't work my shift the way we set it up. Okay, I understand, I respect that, and kids are important. Here's what I need. Tell me what you can do, and I'll tell you what I can give you, and we need to work with this. I understand that, so that's compromise, and that's giving a little to get a little, to give a little to get a little. See how that goes? It's, it's a compromise thing. That's, that's a situation where everyone needs to win to a certain degree and everyone loses to a certain degree. Accommodation is simply this. Hey boss, I've got this new idea how I'm, how I'm gonna sell warranty or insurance. I've got it rocked. And I would go, go do it. Well, I'm gonna try this. Okay, I'm willing to let you try. Here's the thing. I'm a leader that says, you know what? I don't know what you have planned, but I'm gonna let you go. I may come back and coach you on it, but you know what, you've got an idea, I'm gonna accommodate that idea because it's so important to you. Collaborating is the ultimate. It's the ultimate because collaboration is everyone wins. Everyone wins. You win, I win, we all win, the team wins, the company wins, the customer wins. This would be a great idea if in your next meeting, here's your action item, your next meeting, have a collaboration meeting. Have a brainstorming session and say, okay, we have this new standard, this new device, this new widget, this new whatever. What do you guys think? How can we make this successful? And let them talk. And let yourself talk, and you all gain in the knowledge just by sharing ideas. Now, the reason this is on a grid where it says me and you, this is not important to me, this is not important to you. That's really important to me, that's really important to you. That's how this X, Y axis works. If it's really important to me and I need to win, that's why competing's up there. It's important for you to win, that's why it's really important over there. Notice that collaborating, it's important for all of us, all y'all. Okay, here's our model. If you're ever in a conflict situation, I would ask you to do something called ACT. It's an acronym, like our industry needs another freaking acronym. ACT, assess situation. What is the situation telling you? What is the situation telling me? What is the situation telling the customer? Assess all factors before you speak, which is the second one, which is communicate openly. Now, I'm gonna ask what your definition of openness is, but I'm looking at some guys that I was with a couple days ago, and they better tell me exactly what openness is. It's the amount of time. There you go, I'll say that again. It's the amount of time you take something in before you render judgment. That's to me, that's openness. Some people go, well, openness is you're, 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 you're okay with, you're honest. Yeah. Openness to me is the amount of time you listen to someone before you render judgment. Think about our political situation right now, and that's all as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> When's the last time you allowed yourself to listen to someone else and their perspective before you said something? We're gonna talk about that in a second as your takeaway. Lastly, target next steps. You gotta have something. Even if, the, even if the next step is, I can't fix this today, I can fix it in 24 hours, 48 hours, soon, I can't fix it right now. How many of you would feel good with that if someone just said, listen, I understand you're having an issue right now with the phone and I do wanna make the best situation for you, I don't have an answer, would it be okay if I get back with you within the next day to let you know what's going on? Versus, I don't know. Thank you for coming in. Let me know how that turns out. <laughs>